Hi, uh, my name is Jeff Parker and uh, I was one of the coordinators that uh, brought the Blue Dot campaign to Anaganish. 2015, well actually it was Earth Day, got a small core of uh, very interested and committed people. From there we launched uh, a really well organized campaign um, with the mainstay being petitions. We set up in all sorts of um, events around town throughout the summer, farmers markets, uh, art fairs, high games and collect signatures on our petitions to present the Blue Dot Declaration to the Ganesh municipalities. Hi, my name is Michael Martell and uh, I am representing the Views from the Bench and First Voice and the Blue Dot. My name is Amy Briarly. Uh, this is a really important cause and I think the right to um, a healthy environment and uh, clean air and clean water and uh, healthy food is, is absolutely fundamental for for any of us. My name is uh, Patrick Clay Yancey. I have in my hand uh, over 1,100 uh, signatures on petitions. And we're going about to take over to Town Hall and ask for our right to a healthy environment. If we get a municipal declaration for the right to a healthy environment, this will put pressure on the provinces and eventually on the federal government to pass a binding law uh, to ensure everyone has the right to clean air, clean water, and uh, healthy food in Canada. Uh, David Ashe. I am here to uh, support the Blue Dot movement. I think it's a great movement and I'm 110% behind it. and the Blue Dot uh, presentation at Council. culmination of all these efforts was to present these names and numbers and ourselves and the declaration to the town council of Anaganish. The, the council meeting is, was scheduled for 7 o'clock so we met at the library at 6.30 and assembled a large group of um, people that wanted to show their support and be there for the council meeting. So um, at about uh, quarter to seven, we all moved across the street and filed into the council chambers. Um, it was set up so that we had uh, five presenters and then a whole host, uh, which turned out to be about 30 stand-up people who represented groups showing their support for the, the Blue Dot movement. We're in there together. A real example of the community supporting a movement. The environment is our home, it's the only home we have, so we really have to work to protect it. The Blue Dawn Movement is surely one that is worthy of our support. It's a good cause. Can't be better. We're going to get there. Very proud to be part of this. I think the council's heard everybody tonight. There is a lot of people there, a lot of support. Excellent. Excellent presentation. Hey, thank you for your support. What a great show. It's over. <laughs> First stage. How are you? Go to the Blue Dot Movement. Friends of Andy Chris Library support the initiative. The environment matters. Blue Dot. That was a wonderful turnout. I that was bigger and better than what I expected, and the enthusiasm and so many community groups representing and wonderful speeches. 
awesome night. Okay. As a council of town, I was very impressed with the presentation. And personally, I will be supporting the blue dot. I stand for the environment. Thank you. And your name is? Sean Cameron. I, I think the council's response was excellent. To look around the table, everybody was was smiling and nodding their head and was being very positive about um, all those that presented, as well as um, the group of stand-ups, which was our grand finale. And um, everybody stood up and uh, stayed up until all 30 individuals who represented groups as well stood and in support of Blue Dot. And um, it was really quite a, a rousing moment, I think, both for those that were there and council. Uh, twice a year, there's a, a, a grand meeting of the municipalities, the Union of Nova Scotia Municipalities meet. We will be lobbying at the next one in November, um, but hopefully in the spring, we will be prepared to actually present to, to the Union of Municipalities. We shall not, we shall not be moved just like a tree.